reaction after getting a COVID-19 vaccine. He's recovering at home tonight and sharing his story with 8 News reporter Talia Cunningham, who's in studio with a vaccine alert. Talia? Hey, Juan. Good evening. Well, Richard Terrell got the one-dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine earlier on this month. Now, he suffered a severe rash that spread over his entire body and turned his skin red. Now, as doctors tell me, a reaction of this magnitude is extremely rare. We do want to warn you at home that some of these images may be considered graphic. These photos snapped of Richard Terrell's severe reaction to what doctors believe is the COVID-19 vaccine. You know, my skin peeled off. It's still coming off of my hand. The 74-year-old now on the road to recovery, relieved to breathe in the fresh air at his Goochland County home after spending five days at the VCU Medical Center. Gee, it just came on so fast. On March 6th, Terrell received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine in Ashland, but four days later... I began to feel a little discomfort in my armpit, and then I began to, uh, a few days later, began to get an itchy rash. And then after that, I began to swell, and my skin turned red. This red rash quickly spreading, covering Terrell's entire body, his legs and hands almost unrecognizable, from swelling and discoloration. It was stinging and itching. Skin um, is the largest organ in the body and when it gets inflamed like he was, they can use a, lose a lot of fluids, lose a lot of electricity. Dermatology hospitalist Ethanu Newton is one of Terrell's doctors. She says his drug reaction could have been life-threatening if untreated. Through testing and process of elimination, we ruled out all the viral, viral infections, we ruled out COVID itself, we came to the conclusion that it was the vaccine that he had received that was the cause. Dr. Newton and her colleagues believe Terrell's reaction has something to do with his genetic makeup and the vaccine type. Regardless, the doctor tells us this type of reaction is extremely rare. Um, if you look at the risk of adverse reactions from the vaccine, it, it has been really, really low. Tonight, Terrell... I wouldn't hesitate to get it. ...and Dr. Newton are encouraging folks to get vaccinated and monitor their response. Now, I'm told his reaction has been reported to the CDC, and VCU doctors will be submitting the case to a medical journal this week. Terrell tells me he's still very weak, and it will take some time for him to fully recover, but he's still thankful he was vaccinated. Juan? All right.